Welcome to Community Conversations. I am Queen Miss Ebony J. You're listening and watching 1230 Buzz, your talk station, 101.1 The Wiz and 100.3 Cincy's R&B station. This is Community Conversations, where we come to talk about things happening right here in our neighborhoods. And we're talking about the nonprofit organizations that are truly, truly making a difference. And I'm super excited today because I got Ohio Means Jobs in a building. That's right, Cincinnati, Hamilton County, representing and I have the director herself, Ms. Lynn Ryle. How are you, Queen? Good, how are you? Thanks for having us. Oh, yes, and she bought company, okay? Ms. Sarah Gray, the program manager, is in the building. How are you? Fabulous. Thank you for having us. And then we have Ms. Terry Jones Morris here, who is the youth program manager. What's up, beautiful? Hi there, Miss Ebony. I'm Thank so you for inviting us. That I have all the ladies here that's behind this whole entire thing. So talk to us, just in case, you know, people are not familiar, which I don't know how they can't be. Tell us what Ohio Means Jobs is and what it is that you all do. Sure. So Ohio Means Jobs, we are your job center. So you can come here to get resources, to find your next opportunity, to get a better job, to land your first job. And then we also have a lot of support services for you. Anything from helping you write a resume or get prepared for an interview. Uh, we have job fairs on a monthly basis. And then also we can help you get training. So if you wanna get into one of these in-demand careers here in our community, we have training to help you get those credentials so that you can get break into that, you can break into to that industry. Is there any qualifications for when we can come or get resources? Nope, we are open Monday through Friday, um, 8.30 to 4, and you can come in and see what we have to offer. Um, but there, other than uh, you live in Hamilton County, there are no other requirements to receive services here. Now, what type of jobs do you all connect people with? So we like to focus on the in-demand industries in Ohio. So the jobs that the industries that have a lot of positions available and that are paying really good wages. So those are things like construction and trades. So carpenters, electricians, plumbers, manufacturing, someone working on an assembly line, welding, healthcare. Healthcare is huge, as we all know. Nurses, medical assistants, phlebotomists. Uh, respiratory therapists, home health aides, all of the healthcare industry. IT is another really great um, industry for computer support, web developers, um, and then also supply chain and logistics. I think we can all think back a few years ago when we had trouble getting things like toilet paper, well, supply chains and having um, trucks, truck driving and supply chain management, those are all huge industries that always need people and need great people who are motivated and ready to work. So Ohio Means Jobs, this is a program or, or that helps the youth, right? Or is this for anyone who needs employment? It's for anyone, but Sarah and Terry can tell you about the special resources that we have for youth. Well, I know um, I saw a flyer that talked about the man's job week. Is that for the youth? It's for everybody, but Friday of that week is all about youth and youth opportunities in our community. Okay, so tell us what is um, the man's jobs week and what can we expect? Sure, it's a state. It's a statewide celebration of all of the in-demand industries in Ohio um, and in Southwest Ohio. Um, so it's May first through the fifth, and we're having events all week. Everything from job fairs, service fairs, and especially our Youth Day, which is I'm not sure maybe more of a party, but it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of resources, and a lot of opportunities. Yes. So, what are some the different demand industries that's in Ohio, there are all of them going to be there. It's going to be like a big resource fair. Yeah. So Monday is all about job readiness. So we know that um, it's not just about getting a job and keeping a job. It's all the other things that go along with your life that help you be successful in the workplace. So we'll have resources like the 513 relief bus um, here for to provide all those extra support resources. But then also we will have seminars and workshops all day for dress, dressing for success, um, making a great first impression, getting your resume together, 
um, having your interview notes ready and your the way you present yourself. All of those are available on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we will have job fairs in these in-demand industries. So Tuesday is construction and trades and manufacturing. Wednesday is healthcare, social services. And then Thursday is logistics and supply chain. But that one we're also going to do at our partner with the, we partnered with the, the library system. So Cincinnati Public Library, we're having it at the Walnut Hills branch. Yes, this hold on. This sounds like a great time, and I, I'm I'm hoping my listeners that's listening understand these jobs are real jobs. Okay, these are jobs that you really, really want. Okay, the plumber just took me up top the other day. Okay, they gonna get their money no matter what. So can we talk about um some of these different positions in the industries? Because I'm hoping that we got some kids in the car right now so they can hear. You know how much does these industries normally pay? Absolutely. So all of our in-demand industries, they're going to start you out with just a high school diploma entry level, usually in the low to mid 40s, 40,000 a year. So that's really a great pay to start. Um, healthcare is always going to, you're going to need a little bit more education or credential, but the pay is a little bit higher, mid 40s to um, mid 40s to mid 50s, just to start out. So right out of school, right, you know, with little to no experience. So those are really great paying jobs. Uh, re really great plan. I mean, there's people that's the one to college that ain't making that. Let's be honest here. So it's a true blessing. If you, you, you listening right now, you got a grandkid, you, you know somebody who need a job, this is where they need to be. Even if you already have a job, it's always about being open to having a different trade. And well, that's what I'm hearing. Like you said, these are on-demand jobs um, and things that you can just, it's great to have this kind of information. Now, let's talk about the youth, because our babies, oh my Lord, they need yeah. us and they need real support, okay? Yeah. So talk to us, who wants to kick it off? Because I know there's a youth service day that Ms. Le Lynn wanted to definitely leave to y'all to tell me about. <laughs> All right, so let me talk about that on Friday. So what we have done, we're taking the holistic approach. And so we're going to offer the youth um, assistance with housing, assistance with legal issues. We're going to assist them with mental health issues. We're going to provide resources for in-demand jobs, trading apprenticeships program. We're going to have the uh, Black Boys in Tech that does technology. We're going to have constructions. We're going to have Children's Hospital. We're going to have Tower House. We're going to have Harbor. And our whole focus is that when the youth come in or the young youth between the ages of 16 and 24 that who we serve, we will be able to deal with any barriers or remove any potholes that will prevent them from getting through their whole process, their employment journey. So we wanna get them through A to Z. If they fall or get stuck in the middle, we've got a, a provider that will help them with supportive services, walk them through the pro process. So if they're having housing issues, then we got somebody to say, hey, we're going to help you with this. We're going to help you pay your rent. We're going to help you get back on track. If you're having problems with uh, daycare, we're going to help you get to daycare or whatever your issues are, we will be able to handle those issues for them so that they will be successful and be able to maintain and get a, a job that offers stability, long-term stability, which is which, which we need. So that's our goal. So I don't know, Sarah, what do you want to add? Uh, so we, we, like she said, we do approach with a holistic approach. Uh, we understand that uh, sometimes uh, changing the life of a youth means changing the life of the family, which is one of the reasons why we are um, partnered here with Ohio Means Jobs to do that and make that possible. Um, we also have opportunities for uh, career exploration. So for our younger, our younger populations, we're looking for 14 to 24 year olds um, to come to come out to Youth Day, we have um, subsidized employment opportunities where you know um, we we also welcome businesses to come out um, to see us that day because we are partnered with uh, hundreds of businesses within Hamilton County, making sure that we are um, grassroots as well as um, larger organizations, um, and we. We look forward to seeing the kids come out. Um, we have 
a lot of opportunities for credentialing um, that is subsidized with grants. So it's not something that's gonna cost them money to do. It's gonna get them set up to get into these in-demand jobs um, a little bit faster, offering opportunities for um, getting connection to GEDs uh, if they have not completed their high school diploma or gotten a GED yet. Uh, so we're just looking to provide the resources that many of our youth need and get them uh, set up to get into these in-demand jobs. Have you all done this before? So the state has done in-demand jobs week, I think, for many years. Um, but I think this is the first time we've really put out so many events. Usually we'll do a job fair but we really wanted to um, take this off this year and really open up the center and help the community come back into the center. Um, you know, things have been a little closed down since COVID and we are ready to be open and we're ready to have people and we've been open, but we're really ready to see people come back to the center and get their next opportunity. This is a great way to bring them back. I mean, I'm, I'm blown away. I think the holistic and Approach is very important. Like you said, you're not leaving any barriers there because we know our youth mm -hmm. are going through it in a different way right now. And yeah. I mean, literally every thought I had, you were coming in. Like I got chills up my back because I was like, oh, wow, you're you're not leaving anything out of there. So we want to mm -hmm. make sure anybody that's listening at home right now, if you know a youth, you know, they said they're reaching 14 to 24. We want you to make sure that you're spreading the word and getting the awareness out. Um, make sure that, that the kids are coming. Bring them. Pick them up. I mean, at this point, I'm trying to figure out who I'm bringing because everybody needs to be here. I'm wishing we had this back when, when I was a kid. I kind of got a little jealous. Like, oh, what? You know how hard it was, you know, but, but but for real though, these are great opportunities. You're putting everything in one place and it's a whole entire week. Starting on Monday, everybody needs to be there because the readiness is important. Getting through the door, yes, it's fine. But like you said, other stuff come up. So how do we balance that? When you all came up with this um, event, what what what's the main goal? What, what, what are you expecting to get out of it? Yeah, I think we want to see people in our community be successful. When one, when all of us are successful, we're all that much more successful. So, and we can help when we can help people advance their career, advance their quality of life. That is what we, I know, what I love seeing every single day in this work. And so, we are hoping that we are that we are able to reach people that may not have known that we were here. And we're hoping that we're able to reach people and help them connect to the opportunities that they want. So um, one of the things that I love to tell people is that no matter where you've been working or if you haven't been working, you have skills that can get you into these industries. If you've ever worked retail, if you've ever worked in a phone center, if you have ever worked at McDonald's or in food prep and you're struggling to figure out what you want to do next you have skills that are going to get you into these careers you just need to learn how to sell yourself and we have those for you how to put that how to put those skills on a resume how to show up for an interview and and tell people about those experiences and the skills that you have um, we want to help you do that and we want to help you connect you to employers in our area who are going to help help you advance even further once you get into some of these career fields, you can in a couple of years with experience and maybe a credential, you're going to you're going to raise your income up into the 50s and 60s easily. And that's just you just got to get into that front door. And so we want to help open that door as far as we can and help support you getting through that door. I love it. Did you want to add something, Miss Terry? No, I just want to say that we really are committed to helping the youth and helping the community in Hamilton County. And the programs that we offer, those programs, the programs we have, they weren't offered to us when we were coming up. So this is an opportunity for our kids or our community to grow. Um, and like I said, and like Lance said, these positions aren't just your regular $10 an hour job. You can do a truck driver training. They're gonna pay for the training, uh, get you your CDL, and once you come out of that program, you can start off at $50,000 a year. So you go from 
$20,000 a year to $50,000 a year. We also have somebody there that's going to help you manage that money or show you how to manage that money. Because once you start making that kind of money, you don't know what to do with it. You're going to blow it, but we're going to teach you how to manage your money. And so I think these are great opportunities and we really want the community to come out and at least see what uh, opportunities are out there for our youth. Sarah, did you want to add anything? Uh, I don't think so. I think everybody covered everything. I will say that um, Hamilton County Youth Employment Program will be out there that day um, on Friday from three to six. And we're offering jobs at $13 an hour to all, all youth, 14 to 21. So um, bring your kids out. $13 an hour for a 14 year old is incredible. Um, so bring them out and let's get them some jobs for the summer and some credentials for moving forward. In demand jobs week. What week is this? May 1st through May 5th. So the first week of May. And do we need the RSVP anywhere? Where do we go to get more details or information if we want to know more about it or possibly be on site? Yep, so you can go to www.omj-sinham.org. Yes, can you say the website for the people again? Yes, www.omj-sinham.org. Thank you, ladies, so much for taking out the time to come with me today. Thank you for all that you do for our youth, for our community. It's such a great blessing to have you all. Really, really, I can see the passion. We can see the love. We feel it. Just keep doing what you're doing because you all are changing lives. This is so great and I'm just so glad you were able to come on and talk to me about it. If anything else come up and you all need anything, please feel free to come back, okay? Okay. Thank, Thank you so you. much. I appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye. Conversations, you all do not miss In Demand Jobs Week, May 1st through May 5th. You can log on to the website again to get more information. Um, you can log on to our site. We're going to put the flyer up and the details up so you can have all the details that you need. Again, this is Community Conversations on 1230 to Buzz, your talk station, 101.1 The Wiz and 100.3 since he's R&B station. I am Queen Miss Ebony J. If you would like to be a guest and you're a nonprofit making a difference, please feel free to slide in my DMs or shoot me an email at J at radio-1.com M-S-E-B-O-N-Y-J at radio-1.com. I will see you all next week.